Hi and welcome to this new video and in this new video I'm going to be talking about a feature that's been in Velostrand since version 1.5 but just recently I've been asked several times by several different customers if I could implement a certain feature and that feature is already in the sim so I thought I'd do this video to explain what event mode is so that everyone is aware that it's there and can use it so the feature that I've been asked for by customers is they want more realistic racing and by that they mean that if somebody crashes out goes rolling along the ground that's their race over because what they're looking for is a more realistic race environment just like real life really in real life if you crash your drone there's a good chance it's going to end up upside down or with a broken prop and that's your race over and therefore you fly a bit more within your means a bit slower in order to make sure that you don't crash and event mode is in the sim to create that exact scenario so event mode is accessed up here and you can see you've got your various race modes up here and there is event mode single class and there is event event mode open class as you can see so in event mode single class or open class if I switch to that when you run a race if you crash then you will reset and you can carry on flying but the next flag you pass or the next gate you go through you will be red flagged and when you're red flagged that means that your race is effectively over any gate or flag that you go through from that point on does not count so you will be counted as only going as far as the gate that you crashed at you can carry on and fly the rest of the race all the gates will light for you etc but none of it counts additionally I also turn off all of the collision objects for a pilot who has been red flagged so that they cannot affect other players who are still racing and haven't crashed so you can't collide so if you've already been red flagged you can't collide with another player who hasn't crashed yet and ruin their race so without going on about it for too long what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a race and I'm going to fly the quad and then I'm going to crash and show you what happens so if I start the race we're in event mode Five, four, three, two, and there are two quads uh, in this race I'm running on two different PCs here so I've gone through the first gate, I've gone through the second gate through the third and I'm going to crash here deliberately and then I'm going to go through this fourth gate and you can see at the bottom there I've been red flagged uh, you can see the, the lap status at the bottom I've got a red checkered flag and that means that I've crashed and I'm effectively out of the race all these gates that I'm passing now they just don't count so let's just stop there and land and I'm going to put on the screen here the positions so you can see here that after 10 seconds effectively I've crashed and I don't have a best lap even though I've gone through the last gate I don't have a best, best lap because I crashed and got red flagged so if I now fly the other quad in this session So I'm flying on my other screen now. You should see me appear at the bottom and you'll see the gates that I'm going through. And as I've gone through that gate there, you can see that I'm now in first place because I haven't crashed yet and I've flown more gates than the previous quad. I've now crashed. If I carry on, I've been red flagged there's no need for me to carry on and finish the race because uh, you get the idea you can see that the first quad that I flew crashed at gate 3 the second quad that I flew crashed at gate 10 and on the leaderboard it's the purple quad that has won now if you don't crash at all you get a black checkered flag at the end of the race and it's back to whoever's got the fastest time without crashing but for people who crashed it's how far you got in the race denotes what your position will be in that race and that effectively is event mode that's how it works and uh, it recreates the, you know, the environment where if you crash 
that's the, effectively the end of your race and if someone flies much slower than you like I did I didn't even start flying the second quad until after the first quad had crashed that quad still won the race because it went further before crashing okay so that's it and I'll see you on the next video